Hello and welcome to SnowRunner PS4 Let's Play and today we are doing one of the last couple of contracts on Husky Forwarding and I'm using the Western, the White Western Star which I haven't used this truck very much I've had a lot of people say it's a really good truck so I thought well let's give it a go now we've got set up I'm going to use a sideboard the long semi trailer on the back so I've got the crane because I know I'm like if I don't take a crane I will lose it now on the last episode I did manage to roll the fre freight liner so we can go and pick that up on the way because the contract we want to complete is at the quarry now we need to go to the quarry to, which is the fuel order which is two con cargo containers deliver to the warehouse which is just at the top there so we haven't got to go very far and then we can recover the freight liner at the same time so let's activate that one and that one's all ready to go and get the camera set up and let's crack on hopefully stay rubber side down today would be nice so let's get off a semi I did want to just pick them up from around the map but I haven't got one it's miles away so I think we'll have to use the semi by that and then we'll uh, we will change it later on well we, we've got the the point at the top there actually which is uh, the trader store which is near the factory where we need to go So we did an update yesterday for 7.0 on SnowRunner News for those of you who don't know and that looks like it's going to be coming very shortly which really excited about that it's been a long time waiting <coughs> excuse me right so so far straight away this truck is getting there well the trailer is trying to overtake but wow we have some speed now I'm using the off-road gearbox on it as well I've gone for the the bigger engine on there so we're going to be guzzling a little bit more but we need I always like to have more power and I think I've got yeah I've gone for the off-road tire option now the white western star is pretty nice truck there's you've got all the different upgrades for it as well I'll tell you what let's have a bit of all-wheel drive forgot about that we got all right wheel drive and we got diff lot selected so it is a highway truck I think or is it a heavy duty actually I can't does it come up there and tell us no it doesn't does it I thought it did anyway let's crack on and get down to the quarry go and recover this freight liner now I'll actually drive into the quarry the right way because uh well I did get in there all right yesterday with a set sideboard and the freight liner and I just I'm on the pedals and I just I thought I was accelerating and I wasn't I was reversing so I ended up re reversing down the hill and rolling the freight liner and I've been getting on so well lately I'm not rolling vehicles but no if I was on the gamepad I would have probably been okay right so let's get round this bend that's gonna clip oh never mind a little bit of damage first bit of damage for this truck so far and I'll tell you what I still haven't done this bloody bridge have I I still meant to come and do the bridge bugger well, I'll tell you what we'll get to see what it's like for getting across here now I could swing a right and go up the other way but let's just put it for his paces there's a nice little test for it now I've got the extended winch as well so we should be able to winch straight the way across to that tree I can't believe it doesn't reach that far so much for it being extended right let's just get in and yeah I'll tell you what these these winches through this bit do have struggle let's get on there you see I'm winching and it's not really doing that much you want a bit of help oh it's one of them bloody trees in the way I think what is going on here 
Let's winch it in. Right, release that one. Uh, we've got another winch point over there. So we should be able to just drop out the other side. And I've got to get this bridge opened up. I keep forgetting. The next episode, I will come and open this bridge up. Because there's only one left on the Husky forward in now. Now this is my normal game, which I started from the beginning. And I'm going to get on some multiplayer later and that'll be I've got a, another game which I've just used for co-op and I'm only on about rank 8 there so I need to be cracking on with that one oh damage the diff lot just a bit slow on that never mind right let's get back get back on the wheel now the route I chose to go into the quarry before was wasn't a bad route but I think you right when you go down here and go around the long way oh, however we have got the freight liner whoa what did that hit one poxy little rock or something now the freight liner there it is down there so I suppose we could we don't need to be on this level do we so let's go round because that is the proper route to go down let's go around this way I think let's try and do it the right way because I'm not rolling this this one this is sent to recover the other one so I can't roll this one but quite impressed with this Western Star a white Western Star it's a pretty good truck actually when I was in the freight liner yesterday um, I like the look of it it looks really nice it's just a little bit slow but it is one of those chug along trucks it just keeps chugging no problems so let's hammer this round to here and then we should be able to swing round oh yeah let's just take loads of damage yeah let's see, take even more damage this damage needs sorting out it's bloody ridiculous I'm not as if I'm going really fast is it and in reality would we have all these rocks out the way no you'd have somebody up there clearing it all out the way because it's going to damage your truck anyway so why would you use it right spin that camera around so the freight loaner is on this level isn't it i can't see now can we see it where is it no nope, we can't see it i'm sure it is on oh there it is straight in front of us that's why oh that's brilliant so we can i think what we do we're going to flip that back over hopefully we'll have enough power I probably should have got the bigger winches but we will give it a go let's attach that winch on to there and let's just reverse that and hopefully yeah we can pull that over or well, can we Let's take a bit of a run up again. I find that doing a run up on these vehicles does help a lot. No, come on, come on. Winch it in? No, it's not having it. Right, I think we'll have to disconnect the trailer. Detach trailer, change truck. Now we give it a go. Hang on, what's that connected to? I'm going to be on that top one there. And let's get forward again. And then we just reverse straight up, and that should just pull it straight over. Come on! Are you having a laugh or what? Perhaps I should have got the better winch. I'm quite shocked that that's not pulling it. Come on! 
it's not having it is it let's try a different winch point put it on that front end might be able to drag it back round then let's reverse it up see that's strange so it will drag it and now I've got myself in a right don't really want to be there it's in the wrong position now hmm I think we're probably better off just rolling it down the bloody hill I think I'll tell you what can we go down that way no let's just go down to the bottom then and do the other way I wonder if the 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 crane is stronger it's probably not but let's as long as I keep it low I might be able to drag that round a little bit let's do the eight riggers no it's not picking that up whatsoever is it it's not even going to drag it or do anything all right so I tried let's restore that and what are we going to do here then I'm going to have to get right on that that cliff edge stop there see if we can winch it a little bit straighter and get that winch round handbrake off there we go that might help us now we might be able to flip that back over well and that truck's just sat floating there now I'll tell you what as soon as I jump in it I better it fall over again that's all good let's get the all-wheel drive on a bit of low St fire up that engine bit of diff lock and yeah we're probably not but we're probably better off just go back down that way whoa that's what it did before it just jumped up and I lost it but that's all good it's back we got it back on his wheels that was the main thing so we can leave that there jobs are gonna that was the aim so let's jump back in the white western and then we got a little bit of reversing up to do quite a bit of reversing up to do because we really need to get that, that down that bit come on trader get right there tell you what that's not going to work let's get over on the road a little bit more that's a bit more like it now we should be able to get a decent angle on that trailer now get it down there I'll tell you what I reckon we can just go straight down there Ow. I thought yeah you're gonna run into trouble aren't you and I have am I stuck yes perhaps it wasn't the best idea to go down that way but not to worry we have the other truck here where is it it's not it's too far away Where is the freight line? Now, there it is. Now, I didn't realise that was such a sharp. Well, there was a big 
big rocks in the way. Hopefully we can just hook on. And I'll tell you what, let's turn around the other way so then we can go in low and get a bit of diff lock on as well rather than trying to use reverse. I'm getting a bit low on fuel on this one. I think if we attach onto that trailer, we should be able to just drag it down, hopefully. Come on. A little bit more damage. Well, there we go. Now, why is that still reversing? Where's he going then? So I disconnected the the winch, and it's still auto driving. Oh, it's stopped now. All right, let's jump back in. I don't know why it's doing that. Right, hopefully we should be able to just spin this around. Whoa. And there we go, a little bit of damage on the vehicle, but never mind. Right, so we do need two cargo containers. So is it those two? Can't we pick these up here then? Let's drive into that other square. It might be because that one's in that square. Cargo management. No, so that is the drop-off. So is it that one? Or have I got to take that trailer there? Cargo management, materials order. Hey, eh? So what's going on here? Let's have a look on the map and go through. No, fuel order, cargo container. See, it doesn't zip on them, does it? But it is actually showing those two there. So I don't think I wanted to use that trailer. I'd rather use a sideboard trailer. course we're gonna have to drop off that trailer then detach trailer we'll have to unpack those items because I don't like using those flatbeds really unpack cargo detach trailer and if we get hooked up now actually the way we want yeah we do want to go out this way anyway don't we, we want to go up that that way so we are it always pays before you start loading up to have your vehicle in the right position is that gonna attach oh thank you right then so let's get the crane on the go get that all right let's boom out a little bit It's got a, quite a long reach on this crane. Right, so lift up a little bit and then we can position that. Lovely. Turn it, come on, turn it round a bit. Let's drop that one there. I'll tell you what, we might be able to get away with packing that. Ah, oh, you would pack it there, wouldn't it? I didn't want to pack it there, unpack. 
what I wanted to do. Right, get back on the crane. Slide it down a little bit further. Come on, we can lift that. Let's get rid of that legend. No, I think that's its limit. It's moving very slowly. All right, disconnect that one. Let's pick up that one. If we winch that one in, we might be able to push the other one out the way. I hope. It's not going to have it, is it? It's not moving it. Drop it down a bit. No. I was thinking it would move that along, but it won't, will it? Bloody hell. Alright. Let's just try it. Get it up there. I think we're going to have to mess around with it aren't we? We're going to have to disconnect and move the crane. Whoa, where are you going now? Come on. That should be alright there for the time being. Detach trailer. get those crane controls out of the way a minute. Legs, I mean, not controls. It's never easy, is it? I thought that one would just push that other container along, but no. So that'll do. Crane mode on. Get rid of the legend, we don't need that. Now we should be able to just slide this this way. Come on, that's all we want. Let's just move it down. Lift it up a bit. Oh, that is close. I think we get that down. Why is that attached there? We don't want to attach there. That's what we want. That might pack now. Let's see if we can just reverse up. Right, crane up mode. Lovely. Let's boom that out a little bit. Up a bit higher. Get rid of that ledge and spin it around. And it's a bit slow on this spinning round, isn't it? Right, there we go. That should be fine now. Get it lined up and then we can boom out. And drop it there. And I'll tell you what, I will do it properly. Because I know what'll happen, it's a... It's not leveled up. Let's get it in the sideboard. That'll do. Restore the crane. Whoa, whoa, come on, forward a little bit. Attach trailer. Pack, lovely. Jobs are good. 
Right, onward. I'll tell you what, what's the time in the game now? It's, let's put it back to six o'clock in the morning. It's just too fast, it really is. The day goes too quickly. Now this one, as long as we stay wide, I'm pretty sure this truck is just going to drag that all the way out up there. And I doubt we'll need low. I think we got plenty and plenty of power in this truck. It's a pretty cool truck. I think that the older vehicles, you know, the ones what look a bit worn and what have you, and you're a bit like, oh, they're not. and they seem to be the ones what are a little bit overpowered. Right, so I'll tell you what, have I gone up the right way now? I don't know if I have. Let's just keep going, because we're not going to spin. We're not going to go up there, are we? No way. No way we're turning up there. So we can either go up there. Whoa, hang on, let's get a bit closer. Or you can go all the way round. So let's get that set up. Let's just go. Come on. Let's get back on this wheel now. I think we just go all the way round because it probably will go up that slope on the left hand side but whoa yep that's leaning a little bit too much just keep the power on keep the power on and it's stopping a bit of low low plus diff lock in and then we can fly up this bit here and get this delivered. Let's take that diff lock off before it damages. I think we'll be all right just on low, low up. So we can actually go over that way, can't we? Can we drag it around that way? Look at that, beautiful. Lovely. Right, so we've got to go up to the factory. So here we go, let's do a little bit of inside. Drop that down so we can see the clocks. The jobs are good. In. Well, hang on. See, when I do that, I've got to have the camera sorted. I wish it would just put it back to where I wanted it. But we are going the right way, aren't we? We just go up to there. Let's have a look on the map, and make sure we're to. The factory just there. That is the factory or the warehouse warehouse. Now there is quite a little bit of a a lean on there. Whoa. Ah, we're alright. We're we're all good. Whoa. Now that isn't the road I came in there, was it? Or it was, yes. It looked a little bit different to that. Alright, we'll go up that way because there's no point going any other way. So let's get all the way around. Keep it in low. And what a fantastic truck. This could be another new favourite truck. Well, hang on. Let's have a bit of diff lock. Do low plus. 
and we're not moving. Handbrake low minus then. And it is bloody steep, isn't it? Come on, the White Western Star. Get up there. Have we got a winch point? Yes, we have. What? Oh, it just broke. Broke off. Come on, we can get up there. Oh, it's so close, now. There we go. Yeah, we just wanted to crawl up there. Right, let's get it back on the road then. So all we've got to do now is head up. Head up the hill. Right, let's sort this cam right first so we can see what's going on. So you can't really see the, the truck with these cameras. And I think we might just go... I mean, is that... That's a shortcut there. I can't remember which that one... No, that isn't a shortcut there. We don't want to go up that one. It's the next one, isn't it? We've got the next one, then we miss that bit. But I don't know. I think we might be better off just sticking to the roads. We've got two containers. That's a lot of weight. And that's pretty steep. So let's just stick to the road. Shouldn't get into... Well, look at how much fuel I haven't got. Right, so we have got a bit of fuel burn. 70 litres. Bloody hell. I think we might have to pop into the high range box. Yeah, thanks for that. A few rocks on the road. And it's like, yeah, let's damage the suspension. And this is quite a windy route. Come on, get right in there. Whoa, nearly going off then. Beautiful. Just a little bit of concerned about that. Uh, let's go high range. Oh. Not going to do high range when we're not moving, are we? Let's get a bit of speed up first. Because I have got some fuel at the top anyway. But that is just shocking. I've used what? Another 20 litres just coming around that bend. Yeah, and the high range just dropped it right down. But we have got that bridge to go across. And another trailer. Don't know what the hell that is. What's that vehicle? Spare parts, is that? Yeah, I think we're going to have to just chug in high range. Um, hopefully we should have enough there's a fuel trailer at the top of the hill as long as we get it to there we should be good or oh, what I do love about the wheel you can have a cup of coffee with a gamepad it's a bit harder to do you need your two hands on it but with the wheel it's nice and easy right that's one of the that's a hell of an air hairpin bend right there. Come on, get right there. 40 litres. See, I probably should have had the, uh, the smaller engine. This is a hell of a hill climb, I love this. Be nice if it was tarmac all the way. Or a, a larger percentage of it percentage 
of it was you could do some really good hill climbs on this one. Wow, and I'll tell you what, we've still got another couple of bends to go around. I was thinking we're near the top, but... But putting this trek through his paces... Yeah, and we want to stay away from that edge. Come on now, get around there. Well, I expected a, a bit of damage for going over those few rocks. See, that's probably not helping the truck as well, where I've got damage to the fuel tank. Well, damage to everything, apart from wheels. But I think the high range has saved us. Is it, well, then again, that's 26. 26! Are we going to have enough to get there? I don't know. This is uh, very suspect. A couple more bends to go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're not going to have enough now. So we can keep that fuel burn down. And this is the bit I just wanted to fire straight through. Oh, look at that. Whoa. It's I'd rather be going off to the left, to the right than the left. Lovely. 21 litres, 20 litres. I think this is the last couple of bends. Just outside the trailer store. Just ease off that throttle a bit so we can burn a little bit less fuel but it does not fluctuate we're just coming down to 10 litres now yeah we're going to need to be recovered I have got a Tega, which is up at the the factory, which is this is the advantage of having these trucks dotted around the map. Because yeah, we're not getting all the way there, are we? I think this this is one last bend. Yeah, and we're struggling. That's your lot. That is your lot. What would have happened? We would have had to drive all the way back from the garage to fuel it up. But no, this is why I like having my vehicles parked up around the map. The map does look like it's being used then as well. Right, so is it going to work to refuel? Is it going to give us grief? Refuel. We can, we can refuel. Look at that. Lovely. And I'll tell you what, we might as well repair it, being so I've got enough. I think I've got enough points. Not the Tiger, the Western Star. No, we haven't got enough. Oh no, it's the wrong one. There it is. Brilliant. Now, are we going to get past there? Yes. Let's just get the Tiger around that bend a little bit more, just like that. Then it's not going to get caught on the back end of that trailer. Thank you, the TIG. Right then. Onward. Lovely. Well, that wasn't so hard. But pretty impressed with this truck. Is um, the White Western Star is a cool truck. I think it probably go in my trucks to use. Where I do tend to sort of, if I don't like the look of them, you're like, yeah, I don't really want to use that. But looks shouldn't matter. And I'll tell you what, I've just caught something there. 
just call it on that bit of concrete I'm not gonna look let's just keep driving keep driving oh it's not too bad and that should be the end I think cargo management fuel order lovely fantastic so let's have a quick look and we have got one left now that's it materials order which is concrete slabs and whatever which the good thing is we can bring them from there and we've got to go to the service hub which is right over there so we might be able to do well we've got the freight liner so we might be able to use the freight liner for that one but we've got to get this tank back down the hill anyway and get rid of this trailer because we've got too many trailers so let's just get that reversed up and then I'm gonna go and get on with this this is video number 1001 so I've just done this one before I do the stream because I'm gonna be streaming the thousandth video straight after this and it'll probably be a couple of hours it's one o'clock in the afternoon for me now and yep thousand videos I can't believe I've done a thousand videos seem pretty daunting when you think a thousand videos but uh, I got there I've got there the channel is still growing as well so I'll tell you what let's just jump into there and get rid of that sell that reverse that jobs are good and well we don't want that but yeah the white western star fantastic truck i believe you all now when you said oh it's a really nice truck and i was like i uh, don't like the look of that and yeah that performed pretty well obviously the oversized well those two containers are pretty heavy but nice truck righto well that's it for today's snowrunner ps4 let's play and I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a little bit of a struggle, but at least we stayed rubber side down today, which is always nice. I've been quite good on rubber side down, but the last, well, the last video I did and the last stream, I didn't manage to roll anything. Now, if you have enjoyed this episode, why don't you go and check out my other Let's Plays? And I've got various other, I've got getting on for, it's about 250 or so SnowRunner videos now. So now if you're into your SnowRunner news, then I'm the man for the SnowRunner news. I've been covering it from the start. And go and check them out. Because we've got that update coming very soon. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And if you did, I will catch you on the latest one. Thanks for watching.